Hey guys, this is Dan O from Hidden Bigfoot Research Labs, and today we're going to see about fixing my mouse that just broke. This damn mouse, let me show you on my screen. What it's doing is it's either forcing me to right click, or what it'll do is it'll lock in and not let go. There we go, see it's messing up now. There it goes. See, I'm not, I'm not holding the button, and I'm thinking what happened is there's corrosion in the terminals or in the buttons. So we're gonna see how to take this thing apart and see about if we can fix it or if it's just junk. Okay, let's see about getting this thing open now. Oh, there's a screw. the wheel so these two are the buttons all right I got some 91% rubbing alcohol and we're gonna clean all the connections real good let it dry and let's check underneath this plug it may have some corrosion there And I put some of the alcohol in this bowl. I'm just going to use a Q-tip. But I want to clean all those connections and the back of the board to make sure there's nowhere shorten out a connection. And while I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and clean my laser lens, real, laser, ah, laser lens real well. But I'm not going to leave it wet because I don't want any sort of residue to collect on it. And look for any signs of defect, any sort of font. Sometimes it'll be where a solder lead has bumped over to another connection. You want to make sure that uh, each, each line here is a circuit and you want to make sure that there's nothing bleeding over from one to another. Well, we're going to set that and allow it to dry for a while. And also, I'm going to clean, this is the button, I'm going to clean the back of the button make sure there ain't nothing in there pushing down on it all right now it's been sitting here for a while all the alcohol is dried out if I smell it or when I smell it there's not alcohol anymore so we're gonna put it back together we'll start by this cord here
And now this spring, I actually had to watch the video to make sure I was doing it right. It goes on the wheel. And then it goes, it slides into here. And you see it's got those little teeth there. Just for the spring to sit in. Okay, now run your cord back in its slot. Check for any debris or any buildups. Oh, this one, it, what you gotta do is you gotta snap it in like this and then bring it down. You'll see it snaps together right. And now put your screws back in. And when I pried this up, I tried just to be real gentle. And I'm just going to put a real small drop of glue back underneath of it. That way I don't catch on things. And it may still be sticky enough, I don't have to. Okay, now we're gonna plug it in and see if it works. Okay, move it around. Left click. Holding. Right click. Make sure the wheel's working since everything else is. But alright guys, thanks for watching and please subscribe and don't forget to check out my other videos. Thank you.